Hi, this is another video about the Acer Predator Helios 300, but this time the new one with 8th generation of Intel processors. It looks like the Acer made a huge improvement in 2018, so in this video I will show you what changed, what's better, and if it's worth it comparing to the previous model from 2017. We will also compare it to the competition's Coffee Lake laptops that just came out. Is it still going to be the best value laptop? Let's check it out. Here we have the 2017 model that looks exactly the same as 2018's, so let's skip this part and go straight to the point. The new Predator comes with significantly better display comparing to last year. It's now 144Hz Full HD IPS panel with 98% of sRGB color reproduction and 300 nits of brightness. It still doesn't support G-Sync, but it's a way better than previous one. I wouldn't recommend it for some serious video editing, but for gaming and basic tasks, it's a great display. Inside we have Coffee Lake i7 8750H processor with 6 cores and 12 threads. It's about 40% increase in performance comparing to 7th generation i7 7700HQ processor. The base clock is reduced from 2.8GHz in the 7700HQ to 2.2GHz with the 8750H. However, single, dual and quad-core performance is pushed higher. We have also 3.9 GHz clock speed on up to 6 cores. Now Predator is going to perform much better in CPU-dependent games and graphics programs. The graphics card remains the same. It's full-size 6 gigs GTX 1060 which is nice in reference to many gaming laptops coming out in 2018 with 1050 Ti or 1060 Max-Q only. In new Predator Helios 300 there's also a change in RAM clock speed. Now it supports up to 2666Hz instead of 2400Hz and if it comes to the storage Predator comes with NVMe SSD that is faster than M.2 as was in previous model. A lot of users complained about overheating in last year's Predator. Now every Predator is equipped with Aeroblade 3D fans and I think the cooling system should perform pretty well when running it on max RPM mode all the time when gaming. Alright, that's all about changes, so now let's talk about price. And if it comes to the price, I think the Acer is going to keep the leadership in 2018 also. New Predator costs $1200, that's only $150 more than previous model. For $150 more you get all these improvements that make a huge difference in performance and gaming experience. But the competition releases new laptops also. There's a lot of Coffee Lake budget laptops on the market for $700 to $1000 but they mostly come with 1050 Ti like Lenovo Legion Y530 which I'd really like to see with better GPUs. HP Omen 15DC seems to be the biggest rival of Predator at the moment. It costs just a little bit more but it also has weaker display. The advantage of Omen is that it comes with additional 1TB HDD and 1.16GB RAM stick so if you want to upgrade RAM, you can just buy another RAM stick and add it to the second empty slot. The next laptop I found is the Dell G3. You can buy it for around $1000 but it comes with GTX 1060 Max-Q that is about 10% weaker than full-size GTX 1060. It has also really poor screen. I mean it's not what you expect from laptop in 2018 but for gaming it's just fine. For this comparison I also chose MSI GP63 Leopard 8 RE that cost about $1500. And yes, it is expensive, but I couldn't find more suitable GTX 1060 Coffee Lake laptop to compare. This laptop has pretty similar technical specification and interesting display. It's full HD 120Hz refresh IPS panel with 3 milliseconds response time when Predator's display is probably 7 milliseconds response. I don't think that this is the difference that you can actually feel, but it's a really good panel anyway. Laporte has also RGB backlit keyboard. So that's how it looks like. I think Acer made a really good job again. And fortunately for us they didn't push the price as high as they pushed the performance and display quality. If you're looking for a laptop that will give you the best bang for your buck, then I highly recommend Predator. You can purchase it on Amazon for the lowest price available, so I leave the link in the description below the video. You can also find their competition's laptops that I mentioned in this video. If you want to upgrade RAM or SSD in your Predator, check out my tutorial. Now bye and see you next time.